Virginia now in the field and Justin Lee on the mound. That high fastball again has been devastating. Leading one nothing. Rocks this one to right field. This has got some carry, and it is gone. A two-run home run for Justin Lee. 39th pitch for Irisari. Justin Lee. Hits it hard again. Line drive and out of here. Justin Lee, second homer of the day. Virginia on top. Two games of this region, Lee has not been retired. Lee goes after a 3-0, and Justin Lee now has all three home runs of the regional for Virginia. Six for six, and Lee with a little high five from Kyle Rudolph at third. A good show of sportsmanship there. Crosses home with the first run of the Virginia and Georgia meet for the second year in a row in the Southeast Regional Championship. Another breaking ball, and Lee pounds this one. It is gone. Justin Lee does it again. Another first inning blast for Virginia's big has been for Chase Opesgarden. He did it again. Justin Lee up, up and away for Virginia. Five home runs, 10 RBIs. Video game numbers there for the kid. I saw Davis starting to pound the zone and with two strikes, don't want to leave it in the hands of the umpire, and he went up and out of the zone to try to chase that pitch. Some close calls for South Riding Virginia. Three run wins in their first two games. Moved into the winner's bracket. 6-5 comeback over Georgia Monday. Well, Justin Lee got it started on Monday. In this spot, two out, nobody on. First inning against Austin Davis. Lee blasted a long home run to center. Swinging away here, and he's down 0-2. Six for seven, three home runs, seven RBIs, four walks in the regional. So Lee has batted 11 times and reached base 10. Down 0-2 here. And he stays alive. We saw Justin Lee behind the plate on Monday. We'll see him on the mound this afternoon. Austin Davis doing a nice job of changing speeds here in this first inning. And that's what it's all about. Try to keep the hitters off balance. Even though you don't have an overpowering fastball, if you can change speeds, mix your locations. Never allow those hitters to get into a groove and settle into one part of the plate and one velocity. Another breaking ball and Lee pounds this one. It is gone. Justin Lee does it again. Another first inning blast for Virginia's Big Bopper. It's a good approach. Stay up the middle. Good things can happen. Their mechanics stay intact. And with his size and power, it's not too many ballparks going to hold him in. Well, two days ago, it was a 3-0 count when Lee blasted off and hit a ball nearly in the exact same spot, including one in our first game Wednesday. Well, Justin Lee could do it all. He caught on Monday. He's homered in both games, and he'll start for Virginia trying to send this state back to the Little League World Series with a regional championship. Back to the Little League World Series. It will be the first time in 25 years, and Justin's the man to do it. He's got some good velocity in the mid-60s. Curveball, a changeup to go along with the fastball, but perhaps the best attribute, tenacious, out there on the mound. Just going to continue to attack hitters, even when he falls behind. Showing it with the bat. Now he can show it with the arm. It's a hot day. It's sticky, <laughs> but it's a beautiful day nonetheless. Teams represent the state of Georgia here in the Southeast Regional. 
Lee on 0-2, blows one by him. Justin Lee is throwing smoke early. A peach tree time needed to hit some of these fastballs. Another 3-2 for those. Yeah. But he says they all apply. Strike three. Lee goes up the ladder for his third strikeout of the game. All the hours, all the time they put in. Profit takes a called strike three. Play. Something I know you've often said, Singy, in your lifetime. It's been a while, as you can see with the haircut. It's a choice. Strike three. Moss goes down looking fifth strikeout for Justin Lee. Lee just cruising and it's been one of his quickest innings so far. It is a balmy day as you can see the perspiration there on the arm and on the neck. Of this young man. That bomb hit earlier. This front foot down timing perfect and I <laughs> love it. He hit it so well, it's like, all right, let me just look up the line because I know that's getting over the fence. Doing it on the mound, doing it at the plate. He did it again. Justin Lee up, up and away for Virginia. Potentially to the Little League World Series. Colton Hicks out to center field. And Hicks gets it on the act. Virginia goes back to back and nobody loves it more than Justin Lee. Got to bring it. Got to bring it. And these kids, you just have to, well, they come in the dugout and you just have to remind them, hey, have we ever scored? Six years comes in, throws gas, and gets rid of Oaks Garden. Six runs in the fifth for Virginia. Home runs from Justin Lee first. And Colton Hicks second. Two home runs at the dish for Virginia today. On the mound, he's been dominant as well. Good power fastball. Uh, we see it to the arm side. It runs in there on the right. He's just real difficult. Trying to catch up to it upstairs. Really hard to do. Throws some hitters with the fastball and the breaking ball. I know Logan Moss didn't like the call there, but... Justin Lee has been peppering the strike zone. And he's swinging the bat a little bit, too. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. 64 pitches. 85 is the pitch count number. You get to 85, you can't start a new batter. Lee is on pace to throw another 16 here. 16 all. So it's going down and has a little bit of run. It's up to match the plane. Tough to do anything with that combination of pitches. Right, he's, it's like he's getting better. Wow. Later in this game. August 29th, 8 Eastern, Georgia Tech and Clemson kick off the college football. Start the inning, 74 pitches deep. 85 is the pitch count. If Lee gets to 85 in the middle of a batter, he can finish that hitter. On 3-2, Lee drops one in. Strike three and one out in the sixth. Maldonado just couldn't pull the trigger. I think he was looking towards the outside part of the plate. And that wasn't in that location. More middle in on that pitch. Logan Inagawa now. To take strike one. 
trying to be patient with Lee, and they're trying to get him out of this ball game. Let him go ahead and reach his pitch limit. Next one will be number 85, so this is going to be Justin Lee's final batter. For Lee, it could be his final batter by getting the ground ball, sure. ending, ending double play. <laughs> That's how he'd like it to be his final batter. But not the way that Georgia wants it to go. Two strike pitch. And go with ducks out of the way, ball one. Two years in a row for Loudoun South Little League in the Southeast Regional Final. Seeking this Little League's first ever World Series appearance. That's fought off foul, still two strikes mm -hmm. on Inagawa. I take that as a compliment. Winner of this game starts the Little League World Series a week from tomorrow, Thursday, August 15th, 3 o'clock Eastern, against the winner of the New England region. Another one, two. How hard is it to not be thinking about that right now if you're Virginia? <laughs> it's very difficult, but you got to just stay in the moment best you can. Inagawa down the line. That's a foul ball. What you're thinking about is just getting that last out and throwing your gloves up and celebrating with your team and kind of taking an exhale, if you will. It's not so much of, oh, we want to go and win the Little League World Series. Sure you do, but you just want to punch your ticket and get there. You get there, you've got an opportunity just like anybody else. It's a good at-bat by Inagawa. This Georgia team is fighting for every last at-bat. Ninetieth pitch today for Justin Lee on three two. And there will be a ninety first. Good stop by Esteban Maldonado over third. <laughs> Pretty good fielding pitcher, former minor league pitcher over there, Maldonado. Looks more like a power hitter than a pitcher. Yeah, he's well built, Esteban. <laughs> Five years in the Astros system. Inagawa facing another 3 2. Inagawa pops it up. Coleman on the bag at first makes the catch. And Virginia is one out. Had to dip. He's more fired up about his teammates hitting big hits and making plays defensively than what he was doing himself. Almost made it to the finish line. Just one out shy of Virginia punching their ticket for Williamsport. He moves to first. Bowden to center. Coleman to right. Liam Thion on the mound. He'll face Dylan Stiltner with two outs in the sixth. And hey. Thion starts him with a breaking ball strike. Two pieces of toast, two waffles, and a bowl of cereal. Same breakfast every day for Liam Thine, and it's not changing anytime soon as he's one strike away from sending Virginia back to the Little League World Series. Love to see a kid come in and throwing strikes, and with this kind of lead, you got plenty of cushion just to attack the hitters. And there it is. For the first time in 25 years, Virginia is going to the Little League World Series. Look at that embrace there, Justin Lee. And Obst Garden. Tell this.